There's a bill in Sacramento to extend alcohol service hours for nightclubs and restaurants from 2 a.m., the current state limit, until 4 a.m. And behind me are all the leaders of our community from different organizations. Uh, we're all here to oppose and we're here to say to stop Leno Bill, six, uh, Senate Bill 635, the bill that would extend uh, hours of uh, liquor sales from uh, 2 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the morning. We're here as a community to say it's the wrong thing to do. Yeah, they have a huge problem with 2 a.m. Uh, last calls, and we are getting cut and cut. We only have five patrols out right now in Pomona. If we have to respond to all of this increased um, kind of mayhem and chaos between 2 and 4, I don't know where our safety is going to be the rest of the time. So please vote no, <laughs> senators, on uh, 2 to 4. Also, are very against this idea. They have a huge problem with 2 a.m. Uh, last calls. And we are getting cut and cut. We only have five patrols out right now in Pomona. If we have to respond to all of this increased um, kind of mayhem and chaos between two and four, I don't know where our safety is going to be. I've been clean and sober for 15 years. <laughs> Leno's bill, in my opinion, being a person formerly intoxicated, formerly drunk, wanted to find something after two o'clock in the morning. 16 years ago, I would have voted for this because I wanted to have another place to go to drink and to get loaded even more so than I was at 2 o'clock. This bill is bad business for all of us. The reality is that six people die every day in Los Angeles because of alcohol. And one person dies every hour in California because of alcohol. The reality is that L.A. County has to spend $2 billion every year to manage the cost of alcohol. And there's not enough money for that. And the reality is that young people start drinking alcohol at middle school. And by the time they graduate high school, it's normal to drink alcohol. So alcohol justice in communities throughout Los Angeles, we have a message for the alcohol companies, for this Chamber of Commerce for the California Restaurants Association, for all these foreign-owned corporations that are affecting our local government. We're going to defeat SB 635. Welcome back to Forum. I'm Dave Iverson. If you're going out tonight to your favorite local watering hole, last call comes shortly before 2 a.m. As all lawmakers are wont to do, Senator Leno offered an economic rationale for his proposal that keeping the lights on until 4 a.m. would, quote, create jobs, expand business, and increase tax revenue. But critics argue that late night hours would be a public safety hazard, increasing alcohol-related incidents and car accidents as well. Let's hear from Bruce Livingston, again, executive director and CEO of Alcohol Justice, and his reaction um, to this plan. You've heard Senator laid out and, and the way in which he would like to see it work and that it would be selective and carefully um, reviewed. What's not good enough about that idea? Well, what's not good enough is first the, the concept we have to get back to. Uh, there are myriad uh, potential public safety and public health harms. I just want to just say a few words about those again. We're talking police costs, uh, disturbances. Um, ABC staffing is woefully inadequate already. Uh, there's one staff person for ABC for every thousand licenses. Um, there's noise uh, potential. Um, the, on the public health side, of course, there's a, a increased risk for uh, DUIs after 2 a.m. again. And um, even more in California than driving problems, there are uh, violence, risks of violence and uh, injury. Looks like New York, Las Vegas, and Miami will remain the main destinations for the party crowd. After the Democratic majority struggled over which way to vote, a state Senate committee ultimately rejected a controversial proposal, giving local counties and cities the authority to extend bar hours to 4 a.m. Opponents urged lawmakers to think about public safety. When one jurisdiction closes at 2 in the morning while another closes at 4, Law enforcement warned the situation would create what they call liquor commuters. People driving to those other uh, to those other locations, and then, after having consumed many times a substantial amount of alcohol, 
driving back. Low-income neighborhood activists pointed out there's already a big alcohol problem in the state. You go down one block to another and you'll have three or four mom-and-pop stores with liquor licenses. We don't need an extension of the ability to drink. Not in the state of California. But Senator Mark Leno, who carried the bill, insisted cities which allow longer bar hours do not experience higher rates of alcohol-related crashes than places with normal hours. So in this 24-7 society, the San Francisco Democrat says services need to cater to all groups. Not everyone is working 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And for that reason, I think it makes sense to consider this extra hour or two of alcoholic services. Some city leaders and bar owners say the Golden State is at a disadvantage when trying to lure conventions and tourists. Robert Vinegar owns six restaurants in L.A. As we're losing a lot of our people to places that are like Las Vegas, to New York, to Miami. People don't want to come. Uh, California, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego. With this defeat, supporters of extended bar hours are now thinking about a ballot measure to ask California voters in 2016 to decide on the issue. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. But what do we know from other experiences? In other words, is there evidence from New York or Chicago or New Orleans that there is a higher incidence of DUIs, for example, if in those in those places that keep their bar bars open until four in the morning? You know, I would love to have Mothers Against Drunk Driving uh, uh, involved in this conversation since they were involved in the 2004 discussion when uh, uh, Senator, well, at that time, Assemblyman Leno um, uh, introduced legislation that was defeated that would especially create this sort of a plan in San Francisco. Um, but there's, there is strong, uh, strong evidence, and um, public health and public safety advocates, uh, people who work on local as well as national and state alcohol issues, were not invited in the room to construct this, uh, uh, this uh, piece of legislation. Uh, we first heard about it uh, three or four days ago when it was actually introduced on the bill deadline.